the current plan, one person is set at like a thousand. This one, if that one person's having a really bad year, they could hit that full five thousand. Everybody else would be covered. So all of this delineation that's on the front of the page doesn't apply to this, correct? Because it's just you pay, and then you yep. pay. Exactly. Right, I yeah, I do have because once I leave here, if you kind of forget all this works, um, in the packet is a cost sharing schedule for that, so you can really see when you open that up, you can see that everything just goes towards the deductible. It's one of our um, easiest plans to educate to because everything goes towards it. But and, and it can our, be. I'm sorry. That's okay. On our price sheet, then, which one is that? The last one. The last Alternative one. Alternative five. Um, now, Teresa, um, the retirees, we continue having the same plan. Yes, but the prescription would stay. No, 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 that would be the 5,000. Well, I wouldn't be capped at one. It'd be up to 5,000. Up to five. Yeah. For one survey. Yeah. Well, how many people do we currently insure? 14, yeah. yeah. But some of those are families. So how many people do we actually insure? At 14, oh. at 14 employees. I guess I'm not going to. So there's three individuals, two, yes. two person. Correct. And nine family. Correct. So that's 11 at 5,000 and 3 at 2,500, right? Right? I have four individual, one two person, and nine family. Is that, is that figuring? It's 14, that's, yeah. That's dental, yeah. okay. So it's a total of $110,000 worth of exposure. Yep. But currently, the standard deductible for our people is one thousand dollars and three thousand. Correct. So. Right. So you kind of and the prices. If you look at the the prices um, for the luminos versus your current plan, you look at for the single plan, like a fifty dollar, forty dollar difference. Um, and actually, for the site of service plan, the luminos is higher, cost-wise to the town. Yeah. Yeah, and that is sometimes how that how that works with this plan. And the other high deductible is the one you were talking about with me before. With that, you said you were coming out with one that was. This is the the newest. Yeah. This does not. This is. It works similar to the Access Blue plans because the network is still just the Access Blue network, which is the six New England states. And it does increase the standard deductible much higher. It does um, now have co-insurance. Um, it does co-insurance maximums also. This is like, like I said, brand new to Hal Trust. No, no group is on this yet. We just decided that we needed to offer other alternatives because some groups are already on the Luminos and they wanted another option. So this was the other option that Hal Trust and Anthem um, has developed. And then the other option, which is brand new, is the on the front page, the very last column, the newest site of service plan, which is the 3060. So that is the 5,000 standard deductible per member per year and 12,000 per family per year. But yeah, we, we developed these for groups that are, were on the highest plans that we were offering, and they just wanted other options. Mm -hmm. We don't have the cost on that. They're huge. Oh, I don't know. Did you have the cost on that? I don't know if I had given. I don't know if I had it. But this is the no. This is the new what we're calling new luminos. The access blue. It's the no, I high deductible. That. I don't have that. But the cost is on your your sheet. It, like I said, so I don't think you even had the site of service thirty sixty, did you? No. Yeah. I didn't get that. The two newest plans. So if the board is thinking about doing any changes, we um, we would need to know bef 
So I had I need to submit everything before November 27th. So um, as soon as you can let Diane know so she can let me know um, and we can. In past years, we've had at least one employee that had some type of alternate medical options and was not covered. Um, not covered with their plan? That's right. Did they go outside of the New England network? Is I'm not that, sure if it was okay. holistic medicine. Or oh yeah, we don't do whatever. holistic, we don't do massage therapy no, no, yet. No alternative stuff. Uh, right none, no alternative stuff, but we did for the site of service plans, um, and actually even on your current plan, introduce acupuncture. So that is that is something new. So we're moving in that type so of that's, direction. That's, yep. we'll, so that's we'll moving. See. Yeah. That's moving acupuncture out of the alternative. <laughs> right. Uh, Not being covered. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And acupuncture. If somebody goes to a licensed therapist, they just need to go to licensed therapist. We don't have a network for it yet. They can just go wherever they choose to go. So. Okay. I'm good. Right. I think yep. we, so, we thought about going to the luminous, but we wanted to keep ourselves within the same. Right. Wrong. Yeah. We're, we're looking so, at about a twenty-five or thirty thousand dollars. Teresa, there's there's no limit on the HR rate for the, the luminous. No, the fifty percent funding. For the luminous. No, I thought you said it was not. I you, there was not. If you were um, a large, um, being a small employer, there was a fifty percent funding limit. So there's a penalty for being small. I don't know. I'm not sure. There's so yeah. All of our site of service and luminous plans, the groups. Um, not mm -hmm. supposed to have. I can get a letter in regards to that if you'd like, so you can they can explain it a little bit better for you. Sure, I think um, that I can do that, that so that, that we don't have that, that yeah. understand that. Yeah. Um, because like I said, I just I I knew about this, um, but we're just finding out that we're finding groups are funding with other vendors and not with health trust, so we don't know what they're funding, and health trust has developed a, a letter for people to. That. So yep. yeah, it's only large employers. Yeah. Yep. The question again. Yeah. That's well, a pretty easy. The, I, I appreciate your including the the high deductible plans. Uh, there was yeah. A, there was a period of time where I was in a situation where a high deductible plan worked great mm -hmm. uh, because you don't use a lot of services and they have a HSA with the, uh, the employer puts a, a decent chunk of money in the correct. HSA that's yours forever. No, uh, correct. You so, right. So yeah. same thing with the HSA if the town decided to you could either work with um, benefit strategies does HSAs or a bank an independent bank or whatever you right. choose to do to set these up for employees you could fully enough fully you could 50% fund the deductible into that account. And as you're saying, if you have a good year and you never, because your preventative care visits, keep in mind with all of our plans, including this, you don't have a cost. Mm -hmm. So if somebody only goes to a doctor for preventative, for colonoscopies, MRI, um, mammograms, those types of things, there's still no cost. So yeah, that fund stays with you. Mm -hmm. um, so, theoretically, so, it can, so theoretically, if nobody, Somebody didn't use their HSA. If they don't lose it, they keep it, and then mm -hmm. the town can fund another fifty percent the following year. Mm -hmm. That little account builds mm -hmm. up, and it stays with you. So if you leave the town, right, if an sure. employee leaves the town, it still stays with them. Sure, they have yeah. that money forever. Right. It's their savings. It's account. their savings account for health care, and it's their money they and put in it, right? No, it's the town's money. Yeah, they can put money in. Employees can put a certain amount of money into it. Um, I'd have to get those limits. Um, those are IRS regulated, and they change every year. Right. So, but you know, we can get that information. If that was something. Yeah, all all of these HRAs, HSAs, the rules for those all come out of the federal government. So yeah. that's why we look at something and say, well, why is it that way? Set by the government. <laughs> Government, government said that's how it's going to be. Yep. Yeah, same thing with flexible spending. Can, all can you provide us with? Um, do you have a document that talks specifically about the HSA and, and how it works with the 
With the luminos? Well, or without, or with, no, without the luminos. Uh, you said. So HSA, HSA, health savings account, right. would only be paired with the luminos. With the high deductible. High deductible yes, plans. okay, that was what I was yeah. familiar with, right. Right, the HRAs right. can yes. be paired with anything. Any, right. Yeah. Right. So can we look to see if I can. So, HRAs. so an account, an account that, that you get a contribution into that you can use to offset medical expenses, the HSA, that you keep forever, that can only operate with a high deductible plan. And again, right. that's that's federal rules. Right. So So can we use the um, HSA accounts with the um, high deductible uh, site of service plans? No. Not HSA. Okay. You can only do the HRA. Right. Yeah, yeah. As as Bill mentioned, those are set by the IRS. Only the high deductible plans. So even though some yeah, of those site of service know. plans look they like a high deductible high. plan, they're not labeled that because they're not the same type of plan. I was looking to see if I had a um, an actual breakdown of what each plan, HRA, HSA. Now there is also an FSA. There right. is an FSA. Yeah, you have an FSA. Yeah, yes. Town offers an FSA. Right. Um, that's all employee contributed. Exactly. Right. Yeah, I don't have that. And that's where you put pre-tax dollars aside to use for qualified expenses, and that doesn't go away. It does go away. It does. That's, that's, yes, it that's does. an annual use. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But that plan. Um, can also have a $500 rollover, the FSA. So if the town chose that they wanted to offer or have the FSA, so I would be calling Diane soon to ask if there's gonna be an increase limit to the FSA because the federal IRS limit now is 2,700 for to allow employees to put that amount into their FSA. At the end of the year, there's different options. There's the two and a half month grace, which I believe is what the town has. You know, I think what we do is um, they roll over what they don't use up to 500. Okay, so you already have a 500. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So you're good. So that is an option that people are going with is the rollover, um, just so people have an extra 500 the following year if they need it for anything. But that doesn't accumulate. It's only 500 the next year as well. It's, it's only year. one 500. Right. Yeah. Once. Yeah. It goes back to zero. Okay. Keeps rolling five. Yep. yep. But the yep. town would you don't want to use the town would get that money back. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. If the employee doesn't use the full amount, you get whatever the difference is of the five hundred. Okay. That's it. Do you have any other questions? Any other questions? <laughs> I know there's a lot with the insurance. I use the insurance you, too much. You, <laughs> you and Diane. Yeah. Or have skin in this game, okay? Yeah. <laughs> because you, because you're yeah. on insurance and you use it, and so you, you you're familiar with, you know, what's working well, what isn't working well, and oh yeah, this copay is going down. Oh, it doesn't look like this is covered. Oh gee, those are all things that because we don't have the we're not on the plan, we're not familiar with. Mm -hmm. So I have a question. Yeah. In past years, under Obamacare, they assigned a metal rating metal rating bronze silver oh. does, does yeah. yours have a our current plan have a rating someone told me it was bronze I don't know the answer to that okay. I can find out right. a rating okay you, I don't you know, know what much. I'm, you know what I'm talking about you know, what, I, what I'm familiar with is the individual plans that you buy through the through the, through the uh, uh, health care uh, okay. yeah, those, those probably yeah. have those have Right. These, these different colored ratings to give people an idea of you know, oh, which what one the is benefits the better? are. Right. Okay. So a, go, a gold plan is going to have better benefits and you're going to pay more for it. A, right. bron a bronze plan by definition was a rating where if you were to sit down every single cost, every single benefit, the subscriber was paying about 40% of his health insurance. The luminous uh, plans uh, have a preventative uh, medi uh, medical tool, right? Where colonoscopy, mammograms, 
Right. right. So your preventative That's visits good. are still covered just like they are now. Yeah. Yeah, and there would be no cost that would go towards that deductible. Yeah. But that jump in the deductible per individual was Right. Yeah, for all your others. So, and it, and it's very different. If that was something that the town wanted to do, we definitely would want to do a lot of education on it because, you know, it may seem simple to just go and because if you do an HRA with it or an HSA, um, you would have your card that you would just use to go and do that to pay for the services. But you just have to be careful and know when. The limits end, and how much more you're gonna owe, sure. and that kind of. Yep. It's just, and it's different with the express scripts. It's a different um, prescription plan, but we do have groups on, and it works for them. So it's do whatever works for the town. So, and I want to get you that letter also about the deductible. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. Any more questions, Diane? Um, any more questions for now? I'm all set. Okay, Karen. No thanks. You good? Okay. All right. All right. Thanks, Thank Teresa. you for having Appreciate me. Appreciate your coming out. Thank you very much. Nice, nice to meet you. Travel Thank safely. You. Thank you. Yes. Heading down to Hillsborough now. No. <laughs> Travel all safe. All over the state today. Yeah, yeah. we'll see. Thank you. Have a nice uh, trip then. Yeah. Are you talking? All right. All right. Yep. Yep. Um, I, I, may, uh, I may do a refill. Oh, oh sorry. While we're at it. All right. So. Two minute pause. <laughs> pause and refreshes here. <laughs>